Hey guys, today we are out at Capitol Reef National Park uh, on our way down to South Utah. And Capitol Reef is a pretty spectacular national park. There's a lot of pretty awesome geology here. Capitol Reef actually has one of the largest monoclines that we see in all of North America. So monocline, if you break down that word, mono means one. Um, and Klein is talking about the dip of the rock. So this means all of the rocks in this region dip in one direction. So if we remember, when rocks are deposited, they're initially deposited flatline. Right? So remember, we find our oldest rock at the bottom and our youngest at the top. However, if you look behind me, let's see if I can take a look here, you can see these rocks are definitely not flat, right? There's a nice tilt to these rocks back here. So what happened is after these rocks were initially deposited, which we find everything in this park uh, from sedimentary, showing us that this area is once full of water, to dune, which is what we see back here, right? This is a big dune deposit uh, back here behind me. Um, but when this material was deposited, it was initially deposited nice and flat. However, about 70 million years ago, a little bit uh, to the northwest, we have the Laramide orogeny, which is what formed what we know as the Rocky Mountains, right, right outside of Denver. So as the Pacific Plate is pushing in, it's causing these areas to compress, and down in the very old Precambrian rocks, we actually have a fault that was reactivated in this region. So what happened is we've got this fault sitting below, and as that fault dropped downwards, the rocks that were sitting on top folded, right? They kind of draped over that fault. So there's a lot of movement along that fault. Those rocks actually fell over 7,000 feet. So that's an immense amount of movement along this fault. But that's what makes this whole area, as you see again behind me, have this nice dip to it. So that dip is where again it's, it fell down right along that fault. So some pretty neat stuff in this park for sure.